best way that we've found to pick a theme is to look in the newspaper. What are people talking about? What are they interested in? Look on um, the social media. What's the buzz? What, what are the current issues that nobody can figure out, the ones that are too big to solve with the technology that we have? Because that need, means, look, 5, 10, 15, 20 years down the road to, to have a solution. And the neat thing about kids with um, innovation is they don't know they can't do it, so they can. They don't know that, well, the rules of physics say that you can't get this done or the rules of chemistry say that this shouldn't work. And a lot of the really cool innovations, really cool discoveries for the last hundred years have been things that traditionally would be wrong. I guess what I say is find something that'll make the world a better place, your world a better place, third grade world a better place, um, to a better place for someone you know. And that's really the direction. After that, it's theirs. I have developed three or four questions that I like to pose to the students. I like to ask them, is this idea going to help the most people that, you know, out of the ideas? Usually we have a list of four or five that the team really likes. And so we filter them with who's, which idea is going to help the most people? Which idea is, is the strongest? Um, which idea do you, you love so much that you're going to spend the next six weeks researching it. And through asking the kids those ideas, usually the cream rises to the top. And, it, and in the last few years we've done it, it's been fairly unanimous which idea they've selected to, to pursue. Because I really want them to find something that they're passionate about or really interested in. I felt that they'd work harder and, and be a lot more engaged with something that really, really affects them. And in the case of uh, my group's project, uh, I thought it was really fantastic because it involved uh, something that uh, one of the group members' mum um, mothers uh, suffers with and and so in that case it was really important to them and I think that's why they did such a fantastic job. Well I think it's an excellent opportunity for me as a teacher to get students to think about what are the problems that need solutions and get them to think about science in an application way. I asked them to look at things that are personal to them because I think that makes the best projects.